Well, hello and welcome again to Clean Nuts. Today we've got an Royal Enfield Bullet Electra EFI 2010 bike. Don't know when it was last on the road, but it shows 15 there. So it's 2020, so five years. Template. Oh, yeah. Nine hundred and sixty five miles. It's got a dent in the tank. So it looks like it's fallen over at some point. It's a bit dirty, isn't it? Let's see what we can do with it. First of all put a charger on it. Nothing. Jump start. Car battery. Still nothing. Sweep the battery off. Pop it in neutral. Hooked up to a battery. Whoa. Fuel leak. Off of the seat. The leak was from a little hose that ran from the fuel pump at the bottom of the tank round to the injectors. There it is, and off it comes. Eight mil pipe, so we ordered the right replacement. Now there's an issue with the ignition. The key just intermittently makes contact. That needs a new barrel. Don't think we can repair it. It's one of those cheap plastic uh, components. Struggling to get my hands on the connector. So I figured the best way was to go through the headlamp. One of the screws was particularly tight, needed some needle nose mole grips. There, finally got it out. It's a four pin ignition switch. So I've ordered a new re replacement. So the fuel smelled a bit bad, so uh, drain that, siphon that out. Looked a bit dodgy. New fuel, always a good idea. So look at the plug. And it is black. So I blast it with a gas torch. Now here's the problem with the ignition switch. Intermittent. Look at that, nice. Nip it up. HTD back on. Right, we've got fresh fuel, replacement battery, repaired the uh, fuel leak, and I've got the ignition barrel loose. So, uh, she's got that dodgy connection. Let's see if she starts. It hasn't run for a couple of years. So 
the ignition is on, run is on, fingers crossed. Bit smoky. Ignition barrel sorted out. Thought check if the indicators and brake lights work. So front brake that works, rear brake that works, left hand indicators work, right hand indicators work, horn works. Looking good. So new ignition barrel, a clean up, repair the dent in the tank and a few little bits and pieces and we're ready for an MOT. Now notice the rear wheel creeping round, so I started to think about clutch. So I just wanted to check whether the clutch was stuck on or not. What should I put into gear? So clutch in. Put it into gear, instantly the rear wheel goes round. Try putting my foot on the brake. Clutch is in. Brake it quite heavily. Till it stalls. So back into neutral. Clutch in, drop it into gear, clutch is stuck solid. Hmm, I'm thinking about what to do next. Maybe try it in second. second see the brake yeah it's not that at all I was beginning to think about letting it warm up. Give the clutch a good few pulls, see if that frees it off. I'm trying to shunt it so that it uh, releases. Now we're stuck in third. I had it stuck between gears.
very frustrating. See if that warmth. Cable's working fine. Really, I've got to ride it, I think. Still stuck. Well, not break free, will it? Well, look, we'll save that for another day. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time on Clean Nuts.